In this video, guys, we're gonna look at how we can set up MT4 for optimum swing trading. Stay tuned. Hey guys, warm welcome to you. All right, so if you're a swing trader, you might want to set your layout up a little bit differently from day traders, especially if you're using MT4. Now, MT4, super popular platform, happens to be the platform also that our channel sponsor and this video sponsor uses, do offer MT5 as well. We know MT4, super popular, loads of functionality, loads of support out there. At HYCM, guys, you can trade your currency pairs, your indices, your commodities, cryptos, stocks, the lot, loads of different markets available for you to trade, and they have different account types depending on what type of trader you are, are you a frequent trader, do I trade over news, all this kind of other good stuff. Do you want to use an EA, all that other kind of useful bits. So you choose the right account for the type of trader you are. Anyways, links in the description below. Go and check them out if you're in the market for a new broker, considering changing or looking for a backup broker. But what we're going to talk about in this video is how we can maybe set out our layouts and our charts as a swing trader. Because we want information flow, we don't want it too noisy, but at the same time, we might want to monitor quite a few things. Maybe we don't want to monitor all things at once, maybe we want to move things over. So swing trading, you know, information flow, decision-making process, we want to get it nailed down because listen guys, you know, we know trading is tricky, it's challenging, but if we can get a process in place for developing and generating those trade ideas, for scanning for the right trades, all the other good stuff, then we can make our lives a little bit easier. So we're going to hit the screens now, we're going to see how we can potentially lay out our screen and how we can lay out all the charts and all of other bits and pieces for, for real optimum analysis, scanning and trade idea generation as a swing trader. Let's go. All right, traders, so here we are, MT4. We're in the HYCM account on MT4. And I've kind of pre-laid um, out some of the things that I think are quite good for a swing trading perspective. So swing trading different to day trading. Now, with day trading, we very much want to look at different time frames to make our decision, our judgment, you know, working our way down to potentially a one minute time frame uh, to pull the trigger. Now with swing trading, that may be the case, that may be that we do execute uh, on a lower time frame when we eventually decide to pull the trigger. However, we often want to monitor some specific markets that we're looking at to potentially take a trade in. Or maybe we don't have a specific trade idea lined up, but we want to you know, just kind of monitor the, the most active market. So for example, now I've got up here a daily charts. I've got USD Swiss. I've got oil. I've got Euro USD. I've got gold. I've got a Dow chart. I've got a DAX chart. And then I've also got a Tesla chart here. So just stuff that is moving quite a lot at the moment. So obviously a US dollars moving quite a lot. Crude oil has been moving a lot and it's pulling back a bit. So maybe if you're a swing trader, this is exciting you. This little kind of dip up above that level and rolling back over. We always like to see a wick on a candle, don't we? Gold, maybe you're looking for some kind of pullback. So you're starting to do some analysis on there and you're going, right, uh, let's just draw my trend line in. Let me go, okay, uh, we'll draw it here and maybe I'll start to buy it here. But you, you get the idea. So. What we're doing with swing traders is we're keeping everything on the higher time frame. I've got it set up on a daily here and we can always zoom in to any of the charts that we want. So when we're very interested in it, let's say we're interested in this euro for whatever reason, we can zoom in and then we can play around with it and we can dial down and go to a 50 minute do analysis, always pulling it back to a daily because I like to keep the same layout. So in other words, some people, you know, like to have the bars and the black background, etc. But I think if you're, if you're looking at a, one specific time frame, try to keep it the same. It doesn't matter what it is. You know, it doesn't matter. You can have bars, candles, etc., different colors. Uh, you can have a pink and purple if you like. But I think for the subconscious mind, it's better to have one specific um, layout and color for a time frame so that you know when you're picturing your mind, hey, the daily is always going to be green. Uh, red candles on a white background etc and then when you want to go back and you want to just be surveying stuff guys you're tiling the windows now this may be too much there is something to be said for the fact that when you go one extra chart too many like we have done here they become a little bit too squashed so you know you, that's something to consider it's probably better if you could have an even number of charts depending on how big your screen real estate is of course because um, then you can monitor and let's be honest guys you probably don't want to go crazy monitoring loads of markets at once if you do then what you can do is you can save 
as a profile, save as a profile, and then you can save multiple different profiles. So rather than trying to squash loads of charts onto one screen and getting all stuck up because you've got kind of one, you've got a chart here, you've got a chart here, you've got a chart here, you've got them all squashed like this and you can't even see what's going on because that's what you don't want. You don't want to be have so much noise in your face keep them in clusters so have a profile that's set up for okay i'm watching these metals or longs and shorts a good way of categorizing uh, trades you're looking for are longs and shorts and so perhaps you've got a, a basket of stocks and if you use a, a selection of us stocks you can trade via cfd test is just one of the ones i have happen to have up here but you might have some long ideas and then you might say okay well if the market's strong i'm going to now look to those long ideas if the market's short i'm going to look to those short ideas and you'd open the, the a profile accordingly so you know swing trading guys is about not having too much in your face at any one time it's about being able to you know, have a good idea, overview, and also not miss stuff. You know, there's a fine line between having so much data in your face that you just can't make a decision and not having something in there and you miss something that you've been really looking for. So uh, another thing that I like to do is I like to have, hey, the stuff that's coming up to the levels that I'm really interested in, let's give them exclusivity. You know, let's have two or uh, four specific charts of, of, you know, just really good potential trade ideas mark them off on the chart you know get ready get your levels keyed out um and, and lined up so let's say we're going to go for uh you know for example we're going to go all right you know what if we start pulling back here on crude oil i'll take a short for a press to lows if we push a little bit lower on swiss here i'm going to i'm going to rebound uh, if we break the you, you get the idea so it's very clear when you're looking at the charts what you are looking for what you don't want to do is just have one chart up because you have one chart up, you're potentially going to miss stuff. That's fine for execution, but I think when you are trying to monitor, you need a few up there. So that's uh, basically swing trade layout, guys. Um, I think if you want to have your market watch window up, you can do. Um, but if you've already done your research and you're not in the research mode, you're just in monitoring mode, um, it's probably better without it because it just gives you a little bit more space to see exactly what you want. And again, the, you, what you don't want to do is to start getting distracted by fresh ideas. You've got a time and a place for scanning for your fresh trade ideas. Once you've generated those ideas and the levels that you're interested in doing business at, then they kind of get promoted to one of your profiles, one of your charts, whatever it is. So they now have a space on your screen so you can actively monitor them and then if they don't work out and don't quite get to the level you want or you lose the idea then drop them off you know and again so you've got two distinct separate processes one for generating those ideas and one for monitoring so if you're mt4 guys you know this is quite a, a good way of laying the stuff out so anyway guys this is for this one before there's a link to them in the description below go and check them out if you trade for your, uh, your cfds uh offer currencies us stocks etfs cryptos commodities indices the lot so if you're in the market for a broker go and check them out take care guys bye bye